Italian game, two nights, modern bishops opening. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. Beginning the Italian game is bc4, which immediately begins to attack the f7 pawn and get ready to castle. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. d3 protects the e4 pawn and the c4 bishop, and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. Games Master. It is the final book action. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Not the finest this. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to grow a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to win material. It is excellent. This kicks an opposing knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This gives away a free knight. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a blunder. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. This ignores an opportunity to capture a free knight. It is a miss. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This ignores a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to expose an assault on a bishop. It is incorrect. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to disclose an attack on a piece. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. 
there was just one smart move to be made. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. It is a miss. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This misses a chance to suggest winning a rook. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This passes up the chance to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. The pawn is now in a safe position. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This threatens to win a queen. It is good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This misses a great but hard to find move. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to win a pawn. It is a miss. Backs off. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to move the king out of the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a miss. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. That's good. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. An opponent's passed pawn can't advance if a rook is positioned behind it. It is quite good. This is a poor attempt at defending a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. That's good. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. A wise decision. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. This passes up the chance of advance a passed pawn through promotion. It is incorrect. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is quite good. This prevents the adversary from moving a passed pawn toward promotion. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. 
That is a logical response. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it.